Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, we are back as the Sauce Man from Italy, the green player, as we play more of Europe Advanced Capitals, the Risk Meta settings, everybody's favorite settings, and hopefully we can get some good blizzards, a good setup, good spawn, and a good capital choice location. Uh, noob corner cut in half with a mercy of blizzard. Oh, okay. The whole noob corner is a one-point guard. From all the way out in Reskiala or Petrovas. <clears throat> so, White's going to cap in Finland, though. Oh, no. He wants the noob. Do I fight for the noob corner like a like an idiot? Or do I do something better? Smarter. Oh, look at this. The entire Orient is cut off with blizzards and a black capital. Black had a really good capital here. Now, if somebody caps in Istanbul, that would be funny. Red's probably going to cap in here. Hmm. I mean, I kind of want to cap here, but the problem is red will come through and, and have an easier job holding this. If red caps on this... Oh, okay, that's even funnier. I can't do that. That's just too stupid, right? I mean, I could cap here and then hold Russia, though. And then when red and white implode... Because red's going to cap in here, right? And then red's going to come and push in against white. And then I'm just going to be here with Russia with a big cap, having them card blocked. I could alternatively go for something different. Like, I can cap on the tip of Italy in the Alps and maybe play for the middle of the board. Italy or down here. Oh, man. Blue and red go after me. So blue might cap. Blue could cap anywhere. If I cap down here... Am I safe to make a play for this bonus? I'm going to cap here. Let's try this. White's the only one that goes ahead of me, right? So he could make a 7 on 4. But blue and red are after me, so they shouldn't go in here. And I should get this bonus for free and then be able to expand into Africa, hopefully. I think black's going to go here in Orient. I'm Oh, red didn't go in Iceland. Oh, no. I actually really thought red was going to go into Iceland and cause some drama. Uh, blue going Prussia or Burgundy. Okay, Burgundy's cool. So at least blue and black I can see are up here and white's up here. So red and yellow, I don't know where they are. If somebody's behind here, I will... Here's the thing. Someone should be Istanbul, hopefully, right? Maybe somebody's card heap. Every time I do something like this, somebody caps in the back corner. Tor Tobruk? Somebody is in here. Every time. Without fail. It happens. <laughs> So, oh, blue's got a little five camper. I'm going to get, what, six troops? Like an eight on five? Not going to do it. Oh, no, I'm going to lose this one. No. So there's no contest. White gets this corner pocket for free. I'm very surprised nobody capped in there. Usually everybody wants to go full Nuber style, and they didn't. Uh, do I try to hold Eastern Europe, maybe? Or maybe I try to hold this middle bonus? Let's do this. Oh, that white three is annoying. Hmm. Let's get good dice. Mm. And pull this three back. Okay. Uh, we're we're going to try to hold that. Yeah, yeah. I'll send the fist bump back. I mean, obviously, if I can hold this plus four from the start of the game, then I can use that to take this plus three. This plus three is always going to be here. Plus, I also don't want to hit this red two in case yellow has a cap back here. If yellow has a cap, I'd rather he comes up and hits the red two and then sees my cap the hard way rather than I lose a bunch of troops and find his cap the hard way. If there's a cap in here, whoever goes first is the one that's at the disadvantage. So let, let me try to lock down a plus four in the middle of the board first. And then when everybody finds and jockeys for their position, at least I can have this, hopefully. And then I can work on this next. And then maybe Africa. Oh, he's in Rabat. Oh, man. Well, now you're crying. And if you hit... Dude, my mouse wheel is so screwed. Tomorrow... Oh, fuck you, doggy. I'm glad that failed. Jesus. Because he doesn't want me getting strong now that we're problems. He doesn't want me getting strong now that he knows he's here and I'm here. Are you serious? He's actually going to manual roll me? Stop it. 
Go back to your capital, yeah. Oh, General Ban from Lebanon. Christmas tree land. What's Blue doing? Eight troops to start probably takes France. No, Eastern Europe, maybe. So our opponents, by the way, we've got Holmes Vasa from Singapore. We've got Ezekiel Lay from, uh, sorry, Switzerland. Vernon Hirano from United States. Uh, we've got General Ban, 19187. 187 homicide code. Lebanon guy coming in at me. I'm not hitting this one and opening him, though. And uh, we've got Missy Chandler, or Chander. Chander? Missy, Missy Chander from United States. Black gets to hold his bonus. He's going to start working on Orient now. Uh, if he doesn't hit me, I will get 10 troops on my turn. And then I can clean this pocket and come back to Cap. Blue's going to start getting 11 troops a turn or so because of this plus 5. So I need to keep that in mind when I come through here that this blue 3 can be a 14 and can hit whatever I have on this capital. So I do definitely need to not lose too many troops going through here. If there's a 4 at the end, I kind of need to leave it, I guess, depending. I mean, I'm going to get a lot of troops, so maybe not. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. But uh, as it stands right now, oh, it's nine because I got knocked under because of white. Yeah, yeah. So, we'll go looking. Okay, yellow two is fine. Not great dice, but that should hold. Yellow will break me in the middle of the board anyway, so I don't think I should have added any troops up here. This guarantees me that plus three. I will slowly bully yellow and probably take his capital. And then I will start having a good position, right? I think I'm going to be the one fighting out of the bottom. White never capped here. Was this a one back in the day? I don't know. It wasn't a four, though, certainly. Where's Red? Red's in Spain. Red's got to be in Spain, right? Or Orient. Red's either in Spain or Orient. Yellow only gets five. He's going to make sure to break me. <laughs> and then what? Like I'll use this bonus to knock him out of the middle, then. This guy has just straight up declared war on me as soon as he saw my capital. He sees this cap and he's like, it's war to the death, you and me. And I'm like, okay, I guess that's just how it's going to play. Look at him. He's bringing all of his troops to the middle to make sure I don't get this middle bonus. So now my goal is going to be just to clean him out of the, the middle, I guess. I get eight troops on my turn. So I could actually just make this a nine and run up through yellow here and fortify back to this three. It's going to take France now. Yeah. Blue's going to get very strong. Do I actually bother fighting yellow in the middle? Or do I... No, because if I let him hold, I think they're going to let him hold, right? So I think I actually just full-on body yellow. I could also... He can make a 9 here to hit me. So maybe I make put everything on this 3, come through. And then fortify to this 2. And then maybe his 9 on 6 fails or whatever it is. Whatever I have left over. Blue's also going to have enough to take this cap very soon. Yeah, it's getting 11. He's got the whole noob corner. I, although he doesn't get British Empire. I mean, Russia looks like a great hold, honestly, if I could take it. But uh, this this straight shot would be this way. But uh, yellow's not going to let that happen. So just keep on keeping on. Yellow wants to be a problem for me. Hit him as much as possible. He will break me here, but I will just, I will knock that side out next time. I knock this side out. He's going to add here and break me. And then I'll come off the three and knock the rest out. And then I, at some point, yellow will be only here. Red's getting four. Red lost his cap. Okay. To who? Black got nine. So black, did black use it to take red? Did red overextend trying to take Orient and leave a weak cap and black took his cap? That's my guess. And now it's looking like red botted. Okay. That's interesting. I can also make a play for Italy, maybe. I, I need to finish knocking yellow. Like, I'm in a fight to the death with the guy from Lebanon. What a... What a what a shocker, right? We, we've got an enemy off to start, and we got to fight him to the death. Whoop-de-doo, same as always. It is what it is. Uh, so Red's quit. I am reasonably confident 
that red is in Orient, and he over-aggressed trying to take the territories, and that's why he has four troops per turn, meaning he's got more than 12 territories, but doesn't have a cap, right? He's not up in Noob Corner, he's not in the middle here, he's not taking shit here, so the only thing is he's, he's mostly in Spain, he's got a process of elimination to have that many territories, it has to be in the Orient. Oh, yellow's gonna go for it. No, okay. Don't hit my three. I wanna add to it and spend three. Okay, if you're gonna lose three on three, I like that actually. Like that? Okay. This guy is full sending me like an idiot. I mean, I appreciate that he got bad dice. Blue gets 11, so he actually doesn't have both bonuses. One of them got broken. Interesting. So I do just add my eight and I come through and I clean yellow out of the pocket. That is the play. Okay. What's black getting? Black's going to get at least 11, right? We'll say black gets 11 here. 12. So black has 12 territories and an extra cap. White's saying good luck, I think, to blue. So is white trying to take Spain and white and blue are fighting for Spain? Or did white... White might have come out of Spain to try to take London. I think White came out of Spain to try to take London from Blue, but Blue wanted France, so Blue knocked him back out and took France again. That's my guess, is White and Blue are fighting here over London and France. Where White wants to just sit in London and be friends, Blue just doesn't want him in London and wants France. I think that's my read on White and Blue. Okay, he's coming up through Italy now. And he's going to go right through Blue. Yeah, right through blue to try to get into London. That helps me uh, with the yellow situation, right? <clears throat> One less territory of yellow to hit. And a yellow maybe trades on through. I don't know. His cap's got to be sitting here with basically the starting troops on it. Maybe it's still only a six or something. Let's just put everything there. My 13 should be fine. Here we go. Let's get good dice. Get him? No. Move that three out. That knocks white out pretty hard. Or yellow out pretty hard. He will get to break me again. But I, I'm getting eight a turn to his five, right? So at some point, my extra three troops adds up. I shouldn't have left the two there because I would have had a four on one as the final roll or three on one as the final roll. But I, I want to leave the two here to try to claim it from everybody else. Also, I didn't pay attention to how many attacks Black did if he actually cleaned the Orient. I have a feeling he didn't, but maybe he did. Because otherwise, maybe I could just kill Red here and go for a rush to take. Still getting five. And he didn't add here. So is he coming out here? I don't know. Is he going for Spain finally? Yo, if I get the hold, he's blue's giving him a fist bump, so he come, he came to the tip of Spain, I think. White's also fist bumping. What the fuck is happening? Yellow's trying to survive. Okay. Our fight to the death has slowed down a bit. Blue has ten because he's still got Central Europe, but not France, but he's gonna retake France. Early trades! Makes a nineteen wait, what? He's going for yellow's cap? No. He's coming through Italy? Went down. What's he doing? Is he trying to take... No, he's coming through Italy. In white. He fist bumped white and then early traded and punched white. I'm very happy that this one in uh, Sahara Desert is... Oh, it gets 20 doggy time! Well played. He's got the Orient with double caps plus this plus four, right? So that's a four, a six, two caps is 14, and enough territories to take everything. And now he's going to kill red. <clears throat> oh no, that's not red. Unless red's Sevastopol. Red may be in Sevastopol. Red's either in Sevastopol or in Spain. I think the likeliest is it's Sevastopol. So I think I add and I take Eastern Europe right now. Black getting so many troops is also a big threat to white's cap here. Like, is there a small chance red's got a one or something in here? It's possible, I guess. One, two, three. Make a 14 cap. 
Yeah, I think red's in this corner, Sebastopol. There it is. Nice. So that's just a free extra trade, right? I get his three cards, trade, and I'm still on the same cards at the end of the turn. So that's, like, definitely a profitable uh, adventure. I trade next turn anyway, so I don't need to do the triple cavalry thing. Uh, make my cap stronger. Black's not over here, though, is the problem, so he has to break me. Just put it there. So, we're, uh, nice little profitable kill on red. Maybe black has a card in a way that doesn't break me. Right? Maybe he breaks me, and probably he does. But maybe white's cap is just so weak right now, black gets his 30 troops for his turn and just takes white's capital. Right? And then white starts getting cleaned out of here. And then I get to hold Eastern Europe. And if even if I don't, it's not the end of the world, right? I wonder if I could kill Yellow. He's getting nine a turn. He actually has Spain, funny enough. Nineteen. So he actually doesn't hold all of Russia. He didn't finish the top. I'm gonna try to fist bump, but uh, yeah, he might go for yeah, it goes for White's cap. Did he take it? I think he just took it. He took it, because White's White's bonus is Iceland. White, he just took White's cap. Three out of six. Two out of six. White well, took it back. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and I get 22 troops right here. I could take White's cap and his noob corner. And maybe... Maybe his kill. Because White is not in London. Or he would have held this bonus, too. He would have got more than five. He would have got eight. And then Spain is held. I think it's time to try to kill White. I think I can. Good dice, please. 11. That should be enough still. Please? I'm doing perfect sliders to ensure it. Let's go on that front. Woo! Triple dudes with a Belarus plus two. Interesting. Okay. Okay! We got the noob corner, baby! <laughs> and I have a trade on three. <laughs> Fuck you, yellow. <laughs> you can trade for 20, though. <clears throat> okay, I'm liking this. Yellow and blue are butting heads. Yellow can't really do much to me here. He can come through Italy, but that'll just piss blue off. No matter what ye way yellow goes, it's going to piss blue off. Maybe he takes Western Africa and sits. I want to be friendly with black, but black may definitely hit me here. We will see. I definitely don't want to open yellow's cap right now because it's probably got like a 40 on it. And if he trades on three, comes off the 40, this cap's done, right? I want to hold this as long as I can. I really want to be friends with Black. Man, what was the roll on the 9 cap? I actually don't remember. Uh, I lost 11. So that, was, that ended up being perfect. <clears throat> and then I want to send a fist bump to Black. Maybe we can trade cards in Russia. Maybe he takes Russia. But uh, I've got like two little honeypot corners. I'm so far out of the middle of the board that when fights kick off, maybe we're... <gasps> Yeah, baby! He wants to trade here with me. Okay. 25, uh, make this a... 38 and uh, whatever this is. 32. That was a lot of troops. That was a lot of troops, I'm just saying. Oh! 33! <laughs> yellow hates me. Bro, I kind of want to kill you, Yellow. Just saying, I kind of want yellow and blue trade here, me and black trade here, while I'm getting through to three a turn. And blue's getting 20 something a turn. 22. Black's also getting a bunch though 19, 22, and I'm getting 33. Yellow's getting nine. So while the trades are this low, it's not a bad idea for me to let this happen for a couple turns. I need to trade with black here and not take Russia, because if I take Russia, he has to hit me somewhere else. Okay, blue's gonna hit a bunch now. He's 
going out looking for the noob corner. Opens my capital. I mean, okay, but now I want to break you. Hmm. Says thanks and a fist bump. He wanted to see what was happening up there. I mean, I killed white, bro. Black's gonna go into blue. Oh, baby time! Black's being a homie because I would, and he's gonna be able to get cards over here, and now I can take other stuff. Wait, he's going for yellow. He opened yellow. Uh, <laughs> yellow may go for a ram dingle, and his cap's probably large. I think my best play will be to retake that and stack here hard. Keep in mind, yellow's not my friend. I don't want to trade. I'm want, I want them to trade first, right? Let me get more troops. Let's do that. And that's fine. Currently love my position. I know what black's position is. Black is so easy to card block later, right? One, two, three, four. His cap is right here in whatever this is called. I forget. Bulgaria. Right? And red's cap is in here somewhere. It might be Istanbul, but it might be further in. So black at some point gets stuck only here, and I can card block him with four positions. Very easy card block on him. Blue's not hard to card block either, because his cap's in burgundy, right? So it's like one, two, three, four. This way and one this way with a capital. Okay, he retakes that, and then he's going to take back down here without hitting me. Okay. But he's also not going for... Do I kill yellow? Black's going to trade for what? 25. I trade for 30 to kill yellow? Ah, uh, yellow... No. Kind of want to see how big yellow is, though. He trades for 25. I get 30. I'm going to start with a lot if he doesn't break me. He's still in Russia, so we can trade cards in Russia without a beef. I think blue knocked him out of down here. I think he added here. He's going to trade with me here. Okay, cool. Knocks me out of down here. That sucks. Thought we were cool, homie. 32 and a trade. I mean, that's a lot of uh, daddy time right there. Make that a 50. Could make this 107. I can probably kill yellow. Do this and this. I'm going to let yellow survive because yellow's fight will be with blue. Right? He can't hurt me. And if he comes through the middle to hit some of this, that's okay. Like, I have two, two protected areas with two capitals. So if a fight happens in the middle of the board and I lose all this, it's okay. I've already got my troops worth out of what's in the middle. I'm not guarding it very much. Yellow's likely to hit a bunch of blue. Like, yellow has to hit and hurt blue to do anything. And we already know he's a crazy man. Well, we don't know for sure. We know he wanted to beat me and kill me immediately to take over this position and snowball. Once he wasn't able to do that, though, he did pull off. So the craziness isn't quite as crazy as we thought may be possible. Is, he, is that a guard? That looks like a stack ready to attack. Okay, he's going to hit. <clears throat> Does he go into black or just me? Okay. No, he's hitting me. And black. Opens black's capital. Okay, so blue's a bit of a loose cannon, okay? Interesting. Um, okay, I want to see how many attacks black does. <laughs> That's going to matter. Because now blue gets broken, right? Blue's playing a little bit wild. Okay, black. No trades, but one attack, two, yeah, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Four, yeah, yeah. We're just going to start hitting blue a bunch now. I hope this doesn't get hit because I don't want blue to have a chance to hit this capital. 50 is a secure amount for now. I'm going to come up and hit Italy and maybe take the middle and make sure blue's all broken. Let's see what's happening. Make it a 55. Seven is fine. Yep, there we go. Also break yellow? Hmm. Do this. Just in case I get to hold that. 
Why not? I break yellow too. I mean, what's yellow gonna do to me? I don't care. <laughs> no sense in not having a war with yellow. Join the fight, bruh. I hit none of black over here either. So, like, blue might not even worry about this too, because he might just go to the right and want to hit most of black. We'll see. Oh, yellow's gonna make sure to knock Italy out, though. Or is he just going to be a passive boy? Oh my god, he is going to be super passive boy. Interesting. Tempting. Doesn't even take his bonus. Leave my two alone. I want I want the British Empire! Yay! I'm feel guarded. No. no, my Italy! Wait, are you going to leave? Okay, he split. Because this is dumb. He's going to waste all of his troops, which is, I guess, good for us. Can I make him trade early? I'm going to add here and stack. He, he hit a bunch of stuff. Now Black's getting 20. Black and I have a good relationship. I'm quite a fan of it. What a weird, like, yin-yang situation position we're in here. Lose fist bumping. Yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, he opens that, huh? Interesting. Now I get 20. Fuck you. I don't think, I don't think so. I don't like your fist bump. <laughs> Yellow's trying to take his bonus back. I left it in there so he couldn't. <laughs> I don't like you, bro. Uh, do we get an early trade out of blue? Unfortunately, my cap does not have access to him. Blue only gets five. Does he early trade, which is what I want. I get bigger trade then. He gets a smaller one. No. He gets my two out. Yeah, he does this time. Like, I'm guaranteed to get some bonuses, though. So I can play this game. Four on two doesn't necessarily work. I mean, if he actually keeps hitting out of rage and also hits black, that'd be ideal. I think he's only gonna hit me and stop. Yeah, he does. Okay, so I come out and I hit him without opening his cap now. No, because now black holds Russia and Eastern Europe, and blue holds this whole middle section, right? And black also holds Russia, Eastern Europe, this, and this. He just got, what, 40? 38, yeah. He got an insane amount, and now my caps are threatened. He actually thought about hitting this capital now. Because of blue letting black hold everything, that's 85 troops. Like, he thought about taking this cap from me. So I have to trade and buff my stuff. Definitely need to make this uh, an 80. Yeah, we could do this. Now we don't open his capital. Oh, black broke him anyways. Good. Look at blue's not that difficult of a card block, honestly. Don't open his capital. <clears throat> Make him trade and do stuff. I'm going to get knocked out of here by yellow now. I have a trade on three. It'll be a 65 trade. Maybe a 70 black really trades. I don't know. I don't think blue's going to trade and hit black. Black's holding too much. Blue had a good position, but he wanted to shake the board up by knocking me out of the middle. And now... Stop it. I want to kill you, yellow. I should have maybe killed you earlier. Uh, maybe not, because like the time I was going to turn on him was when blue turned on me. But then if I do kill yellow, I'm kind of down here and up here. Blue and black have to draw borders in the middle at some point, right? But they're already doing that. Blue's trying very hard to be friends with black. I had a good relationship with black, too. I wanted to keep that going. Or is he adding? He's going to add some here. He is adding out here, though, to do some other stuff. 
Here we go, Ram Dingo time. Actually, my cap is going to be open to come out. Thanks to yellow. Does he keep hitting? No, it doesn't hit black. Black only has a card by breaking one of Blue's bonuses, though. So that's why he hit the one. He hit this one because he has to take a card off Blue. And he's only taking one now that Blue's letting him hold 38. So... Sixteen a turn. Kind of want want Russia back. I want Russia back then. I want something more. I also want a war to kick off at some point. Like if Blue's... Blue right now only wants to kill me and hit me. So if I can sort of be somewhere Blue isn't, then he can take his moronity... Moronicity! Let's make weird words. Into somebody else. Also, Yellow's now hitting Blue. Perfect. Go ahead, break Russia. I don't give a shit. Go fucking ham, doggy time. I'm cool with it, you know what I mean? If that's where you're going with it, I'm fine. I'm a big fan of that. Cool job. What are you doing in the corner there? Okay. Like, I've guaranteed got two caps with two free bonuses, right? So I'm all for it. Blue gets 12, so he's still holding Italy, I'm pretty sure. I think yellow came through here. Wait. No, he came through Italy. He's holding France still. Now blue's retaking. Curious what black's going to do. I want Russia, though. If Black's going to hold 38 a turn, I'd rather take that 7 plus 1 or 2 more. I mean, he can take 29 a turn or something. And then I can get 29 or so. More even, right? I also like being on the outskirts while everybody else can fight. Black's cap's also probably never going to get opened. He trades early. So I think he's hitting some stuff. Maybe his cap's open, he's going to go for a yellow kill. That would be exciting. Because that would open the door to opportunity. Keep in mind, my upper position is very easy to card block, and so is this. Oh, he's taking that out. Lost 156. Huh. Interesting. Doesn't knock me out of the corner. Just wants to break it? So his leftover troops there were 104. And he split six up. So he's got 100 he got here. And what's he doing? Like... 50-50? He really fucked up there, man. <clears throat> I don't think that was smart. He's been getting tons of troops, though, so he's got to have, like, stacks. But, like, he went hard into me there, right? That was kind of shocking. Hmm. That's tempting. Let's do this. I want blue to see the 50 cap and hit it. Maybe blue trade? Nah, no, yellow's not trading. I would love to see if blue traded right now and went for this. Blue's also incredibly weak. Is that all he's got? Okay, yellow. You're, you're just doing nothing interesting. Do something more interesting. Dude, go. Do it. 
I want him to come right, come right one time. Go look at it. Come on. There it is. Look at that. Yeah, baby. I don't have access to try to kill Black. Black's going to take a third card, though, and maybe he opens me. If this gets hit, I can kill Black. Maybe. If Blue knocks this out. You should not have just non-slider blitzed this capital for the noob corner. What the hell are you thinking, doggy? So dumb. Blue has two empty caps, by the way. Both of Blue's caps are empty. Oh! Yeah! This is feeling good. Just hit this. Just hit this, you know? Just let me in. Let me into your, your coochie snacks. <laughs> let me into your coochie snacks. That's how I got laid as a teenager. And just fucking, that was my opening line. I Back in high school days, you know? What are you doing? You know what I bought? Trying to break all my bonuses? I used to take this capital. But he can't fortify to it. I can take this whole pocket. I don't need to take up here. Oh, he's going to fortify. Wait, is that a bot? That's a bot. Okay. Black's botted. Blue's on four cards. Or five cards. And he's got no capital. And he didn't trade last turn. Oh, baby, fuck you in the ass, little bitch boy. <laughs> that was rude. That was rude. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I meant every word. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what? Give him the old tasty? Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 it all happens. I had to show Black's cap to... Black went stupid. I had to show Black's cap to Blue, and then Blue went stupid. And then that's it. <laughs> Yellow player gets fucking second? Let's go, daddy time. Um, Sorry, keep in mind, he may go crazy on some cap hits, right? So let's just... Uh, his cap's open. I had to open it for that, though, which is unfortunate. Make that like a... He has a trade, too. Does he try cap run? If he tries a cap run, with god dice, he gets it. He's going to have a what? A 250 almost? He doesn't even know he's got a trade. Okay. If he's one of those guys. Like, he would have to get... An even roll on this, and then 190 comes out. Perfect roll on this. Perfect roll on this. Perfect roll. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. You're toasted. You're toasted, bud. Yeah. Yeah, get away from my Great Britain. Or London. Whatever. Come on. Good game. Yeah! What a sick game! Oh, beautiful game. Beautiful, beautiful game with the double reach around outside honeypots. Oh, let's go. What did he split? 229, and then he hit with a 170, so he's got, uh, I guess 60, 60 back almost, 58, 59 on this cap, and this cap's empty, what are you doing, doggy time? <clears throat> Alright, run out of time with your attacks, and I hold the whole board and trade, feel it, feel my wrath, feel the thunder! Taste it, taste it all the way. I mean, I could end him, but let's let's be honest. We all want to see the fun stuff. We want him to taste it. 
Oh, there's a 53 here. And a 50. Oh, no, I screwed up. It's okay. We'll leave that there. And... No, he won't. We'll do this. Oh, no. Does he have a trade on three? This guy doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't have a clue. Do I have a trade on three? I'm being very aggro and stupid. <laughs> Just because I... I obviously right now in the 1v1, I'm not playing optimal. I could play this way better. I can sit a couple turns, hold the whole board, and just win. But I, I'm just trying to push him into the dumpster and let him die. Because I know this guy is not, uh, he's not a grandmaster. He's not playing at an ultra high level. So at this point, I'm, I'm kind of having a little bit more fun. Otherwise, I don't 0% slide or slam this cap. And then I would only be taking 100% cap rolls. All right, good game. He's probably not even going to get to fortify back, right? No, my great Brittany really, really wants it. Like, British Empire, whatever. I don't know exactly. Nah, whatever. Here we go. Oh, no, my other, my other bonus. Remember me and Yellow fighting over this bonus like 40 minutes ago? No longer. Leave my... No! Don't forget this bonus. Oh, no. Oh, fortify. Oh, no, crap. I forgot to fortify. You're damn right you did, son. Uh, there's no... World on victory, so we'll just do the best we can and take the capital. No good game for you, because you were my enemy right from the first turn. You literally slow rolled my cap on the first turn. Screw that guy, the sauce man, saucing up my opponents. You got sauce, bro. There you go. Enough, bad enough. One liners, expert for black. And a bunch of intermediates. Cool. I'm cool with that. It was a fun game. I had a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. More risk above my head. More risk every day. More risk tomorrow. More risk popping up after this video. And when you go to your homepage, it'll show you even more risk. Jesus. So go watch some more. I'll see you later.